What's up guys, welcome back to another Star Wars view, uh, Lego review here on the channel. Today I'm reviewing set 75347, the TIE Bomber. The set has 625 pieces, is 9 plus, and retails for $64.99 in the US, and re um, released on January 1st, 2023. The set comes with four minifigures, being Vice Admiral Sloan, Darth Vader, TIE Bomber Pilot, Gonk Droid, and up on the box you can see the 40 years... Uh, of Return of the Jedi anniversary thing. First for minifigures, we have Darth Vader. Um, this is just like the Darth Vader we've been getting for the past few years. He has this nice arm printing right here, a black cape, and his head print, I believe, is exclusive. It's him sort of scowling, and um, you get a red lightsaber for his accessory. That is the, uh, Darth Vader. <coughs> Next, we have Vice Admiral Sloan, who is exclusive. I don't know where this character comes from, but she's pretty cool. Um, just the normal Admiral gear. Still no dual molded legs, which is unfortunate. Um... Uh, no alternate face, and her hair is in this nice black bun. I believe this is a new hair piece, but I could be wrong. Next, we have a gong droid um, with the Imperial logo on the side. Not much, just a normal brick-built gong droid. And then last, we have a TIE Bomber pilot. This is his face expression. Um, we've been getting this face for a couple years now. The helmet is really nice. Um, unfortunately, you can't turn it. I don't like how the skin is exposed at the back, but still a nice piece, and the prints on the legs and torso are cool. For the side build, you get this little cart that can hold um, bombs. It's not much other than to get the piece count on the set up, but it is nice for what it is. You get two extra bombs here, and some little lights at the front, and this little kind of control piece, and it can fit one minifigure, um, and this is sort of what it looks like um, all built up. Now for the main draw to the set, of course, the TIE Bomber. Um, this set, um, this model is composed of two wings and two sort of main capsules. The capsules, I feel like they did a really good job on. It's very smooth, uh, very sleek looking. Um, the, my only issue with it is that it's um, there's no interior. It's just kind of this little compartment at the front, and that's all the interior you get. Um, but anyways, starting with the cockpit here, you can fit one minifigure, of course being the TIE pilot, TIE bomber pilot. My only problem with this is that when you put a minifigure in, um, you cannot see them through the window because it is just solid brick here. It doesn't go, uh, through to the other side, which has been a feature with previous, um, Star Wars TIE fighters. Um, that is unfortunate, um, but here on the front, there are some stud shooters, which of course just do, uh, shoot these green one-by-ones. And then over here, there's this nice printed piece to add more detail. On the top, you can see some of the bombing mechanism. I'll go over that later. And then on the back, there are some red translucent pieces to kind of act like lights. And there's some of these curves to um, finish off the end. Um, Next, onto the wings here. They are mostly tiled off except for the edges and some of the main wing compor uh, comp um, compartments. And then the wings are made of three pieces that fit onto the main base. Um, the main base here has this little printed tile. This is the same on the other side to kind of be the centerpiece and to add more detail. Um, same on the other side, of course. So that is the wing situation. Now I will go more into the bombs. So in actual Star Wars, I believe this little kind of area right here, this compartment is supposed to be the thing that drops the bombs out of. Like you can move it around, even though this is not actually where the bombs come out of in the set. This is only in the movies because um, in the set, it is slightly behind this. You can just see these yellow pieces. I feel I wish they had chosen uh, a darker color so it blended in more. But um, it still works. A lot of people aren't happy with how they did the bombs. But I kind of like how simplistic it is. Just some flick fire missiles. Now basically the idea behind it is you take your figure here. Um, supposedly a rebel. But I'm just using the TIE bomber pilot. And then what you do is you press down here. And the bombs drop down. All four of them. Um, there's the last one. And to reload them it's kind of difficult. Because you have to reach under here but you just put these in through these technic pieces 
and that is how you reload the bombs. Of course, you also get these extra ones in the cart, but that is the bombing feature. Um, that is the entire Thai bomber set. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a pretty nice set. A bit overpriced at $65, but the figures are nice. And of course, it's a Star Wars set, um, which it, um, are usually very nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Um, there's more on the way, of course. Um, so, bye. Why can't I say compartments? Why do I say nice so much? Stay tuned.